Hey everyone, it's Angela Irene with Aged Goodness and I'm here with my daughter Lauren and we're going to get started on our mystery box number two. Uh, this was the second box out of the Southern California area. We have three all together. Uh, the first one looked fabulous. Let's get started on box two and see how it goes. Okay, this is box number two. We ended up with three boxes out of the same location. So we don't expect uh, packaging to look much different. So this one sounds like it had stuff rattling around too. And uh, yes, it does, not lined. Okay, let's get going and we'll see what this one brings us. Okay, well this would be the pretty good size pile of broken, uh, you know, missing stones, and uh, you know, stuff the finish coming through, eh, you know. Uh, this box is the sister box to um, the last box we did. In fact, we have one more. I, I ended up with three of them uh, that closed all at the same date. And this one has way more in the, you know, craft pile than the other box did. So that's, you know, this whole pile is, you know, the questionable stuff. All right, let's see what was uh, in the rest of the box. Okay, we're going to start this box off with the earrings. Uh, ironically enough, we didn't end up with any orphans, so that's kind of a neat deal. I don't know if we've ever had that. Okay, the first one we're going to deal with, I don't know if they'll be nice to us, here we go, are these fishhook gold tone. They have a nice little weight to them. We have a fishhook theme colored dangly ones. Cute. I think we have probably a... Um, statement necklace back there that will probably go nicely with those. Um, these look like maybe somebody made them. You know, little glass seed beads. Cute. We have some gold. Kind of looks like yarn. Kind of neat texture on those. I wish these were in better shape. Um, I love the, the rose. But, you know, the finish is starting to come off. I think these will end up in a craft lot. I think somebody will make something absolutely fabulous out of these. We have some faux pearl clip-ons that are marked King Kong, so they're probably a little older. And they have a lot of nice luster on them still, too, which is a nice bonus. And then, you know, these ones are certainly um, maybe 80s. You know, they have that kind of patina to them. Um, lighter, but not too, too bad. We have some lever back hook plastic beads. Kind of cute. And these look more artisan. Looks like mixed metal. Looks like we have some brass, some copper, and some stone. Those are pretty nice. We have some orange little glass beads on a fish hook. Actually kind of cute. Okay, this pair is marked, um, dang if we can figure out what the mark is. It is this almost like a semicolon and a line and an E. I, I don't know. But they are nice quality. They have a great, uh, looks like gold plated tone to them. Nice pair of earrings. We have some Aeropostale shell. Ooh, ah, with the, you know, with the actual hang tag still. Holy heck. Um, these are, you know, just kind of brass. I think these would have been really cute in one of our boho lots. Very lightweight. I think these would be easy to wear. We have some dainty cameo earrings. You know, the theme, I think, of this box was dainty. I mean, look at these. I mean, those cameos were totally adorable. And look at these little tiny, tiny, you know, I mean, these have like, what, a quarter inch drop? I mean, we're talking cute as I'll get out. We have these cute little shepherd hook dainty ones, gold tone. These almost look like great clusters with the the AB beads and just the glass beads. I mean, aren't those, those are just ugh, with an evening gown with a, you know, a nice pair of uh, little pumps. I think these would be cool. These are 
little pink suns and some diamonds. I think these are probably the sassiest of the group here. Everything is kind of, you know, very sophisticated looking. Not that these aren't, but these have that kind of the little movement going on and the drop. So, ooh, little sassy. We have some brownish orange glass beads, really tiny. And these are plastic, you know, nothing overly uh, heavy. So I think these would be uh, real easy to wear. If you had a long day going on, I think this would be cool. These kind of look like rocks. Um, let's see. Those look like druzy quartz, like teeny, teeny druzies. I think this, this may be the only other marked pair we had. Uh, and this is by The Limited. Um, and they have this really long hook, which I don't, I don't know. Do, do you think you'd be comfortable putting that whole thing through? I mean, that is long. But, you know, nice quality. The rhinestones are really pretty. All right, that's it for the earrings. We'll move on to bracelets. Okay, once again, this box had quite a few bracelets. This would be a, I think this is a commercially done wire wrapping. Yeah, silver tone. We have a wood one. This one has a little wear. I love the actual uh, form, but it does have wear. So this will end up in a craft lot. We have some um, plastic crystals. This one is really cute. This one is marked. And it says charm story. So this one has a really cute little cell phone and picture frame. Cute, 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 cute. A pink multi-strand shell. I love it. This one is marked BB. It does have some charms. And then the silver tone has the ribbon wrapped throughout. Uh, some of the charms are showing some wear. So I think this one is going to end up in our craft lot too. We have a bracelet that is pink, white, blue, and clear sea beads with some gold. Okay, this one is marked B and N Pewter, and then it has the number five. So, and it's also marked with the initials, I think that's KLS, but it's a nice big hefty piece of pewter. We have another wood bangle in green and yellow. Yeah, this fashion bracelet has one of the strongest uh, mat um, magnetic clasps I have ever come across. <laughs> and it's nice though. We have a gold tone clamper. This one is enamel. If it will lay flat. Oh, we've got the red, yellow, blue. It, it's showing wear, but I think somebody could still rock that. I have a blue holographic looking bracelet with some silver flowers. A trio of almost tortoise shell colored plastic beads. Another holographic bracelet with hearts and another strong metal clasp. This um, aluminum bracelet, it's marked Moz, M O Z Designs dot com. So, kind of, kind of neat, this one. Just a black plastic one, a little shiny. Okay, and then we ended up with, you know, kind of a little gamut here of, you know, nicer bangles. We have a gold tone with pink and then champagne colored crystals. I love it. Very cute. This duo is Jessica Simpson. It says love to love and it has the little chain, her little signature and the heart which is holding the two together and it has uh, you know a few little rhinestones here and there. Cute little set. 
We have two really dainty bracelets. We have some pink pearls and some black crystals. I think this was supposed to be, you know, almost, it has a, you know, an Alex and Ani kind of feel to it. And then this one, which had the little stones, a couple of nicer bangles. We have a red hat bracelet, silver toned. And we had a few more bangles. We have a stretchy one. This kind of has that snake feel with some fake pearls. Also, stretch. And this has the very lightweight metallic beads in this rose form. And then, of course, I think this is really an anklet in the, you know, we always have to have one, uh, puka shells. And I think that'll do it for the bracelet. Hey, this box certainly had some interesting necklaces. This is a triple strand. So I have not seen this configuration. This looks like kind of one of the standard uh, statement pieces. And then this has two extra rows of beads. So this one has quite a little bit going on. We have a long greenish tone wooden bead necklace. I think this is somewhere probably in the 36 inch range here. This has some really nice plastic beads, some gold tone beads, and they're heavier, um, a little heavier weight. And then it has a matching stretch bracelet and the coordinating beads. We have a wooden cross in a case on a cord. We have a pendant. This is a beautiful piece of mother of pearl and where you could see the pearls actually were embedded in the mollusk and they made a pendant out of it. I thought that was really nice. We have a blue belt. And these are plastic. There always has to be a belt. <laughs> okay, um, you know what? We have found some beautiful glass pieces. This is a very nice substantial blue and black swirl. Uh, the cord, oh, yeah, it's seen better days. It's put together with uh, a safety pin. I think we would take uh, the, you know, all of the beads off and you know do something else with it. We have a silver tone choker marked INC. Okay, well, we were pretty fortunate. This box had quite a quite a few sets of fashion gold tone. These all have that kind of Monet feel to them with the specialty clasps. I mean, beautiful stuff. So obviously a necklace and matching bracelet. We have another wooden bead necklace that's green with some ribbon. This wooden bead necklace has some great colors. It has some great size beads. I mean, this this would have been perfect in a boho lot. They had enough stuff between these first two boxes to have made a really fabulous boho lot. Hey, we have boho stuff, guys. If you need it, let us know. We have a crystal necklace. Okay, someone, if you know what the heck are the name of these beads, you know they're the rolled up, you know, paper, wallpaper, scrap paper beads. I have not seen this uh, in a triple strand with the little tiny ones, so I thought this was actually kind of a neat composition. We have a huge green mint statement piece on a gold tone chain. You know, that is certainly one of my favorites. That's a beautiful color. Just stunning. And this is a triple strand fashion necklace. And I'm going to see if I can roll it around, get it all in here. I think it's probably like 36 inches with the stations being uh, almost like a marcasite look to them. And you know what? This has got a great weight. It's nice and heavy. We have a glass bead necklace with some hematite beads. 
It sort of has that snake skin kind of look to it. And it's, it kind of changes colors the more you move it around. It goes from, you know, the gunmetal to a darker black to actually almost a silver. It's kind of an, I kind of really cool. We have a, another pair with a gold tone necklace and bracelet. The beads are, you know, they're kind of plastic, lightweight, but the heart pendant is actually, you know, I think the star of the show here. I take that off and put that on something different. We have a multi-strand blue sea bead necklace. Okay, these are some, some form of acrylic, lucite, you know. I think maybe someone had uh, made this. We have a wood bee necklace with some green beads. I don't know how well these are going to show up on this one, but these are great acrylic clear beads. They were nice enough to put a magnetic clasp on them. I think the beads are actually older than the clasp. We have a starfish pendant on a cord, silver tone. All right, guys, we've got like, I don't know, 48 inches. I'll just, you know what, I'll just put it all on here. They've got a great feel. They're plastic, but they have that nice silky feel to them. We have a fashion ring. Looks like a cat eye, tiger's eye kind of thing. Okay, again, this is long. Okay, I don't know if these are glass, if these are stone. They, you know what, they feel actually heavier than glass to me. Uh, the smaller ones are faceted. They have a ton of sparkle. And then you've got the cord, and they look like hand knotted. And then all of a sudden, these really dark, dark stations here. Again, I don't know if they're glass or stone, but this this necklace is stunning. We have another dainty set of necklace and bracelet gold tone. Okay, this one is triple strand. It has the snail chain and then it comes down to these stations with the black uh, glass and it's graduated so you've got you know each a little longer than the next and it is a beautiful it's got a great feel to it looks new we have a blue glass bead with some brass beads on this weird yarn cord okay I would have when I picked this thing up I would have really thought it would have been stamped Monet. It's not. It is just beautiful feel. Absolutely fabulous. We have a shell necklace with silver tone. Okay, the obligatory shells. There we go. There's our shell necklace. We have a long stone necklace. It's orange. I don't know what stone that is. Um, maybe carnelian. I think maybe. It's pretty. It is pretty. There again, orange. Seeing lots of orange. Uh, we have seed bead, wooden bead, and then obviously a shell, which just has some carving into it. Um, pendant. It's thinner, so it has a nice, very lightweight, everyday wear. We have another orange plastic bead necklace. I think we have this, I think we have this particular fashion <laughs> statement piece. I, I don't know, what, in five colors maybe? It, it's a lot. It's well constructed to me, the way it lays sometimes it kind of looks like, you know, Minnie Mouse. It's cute. 
We have a double strand plastic crystal bead necklace. One of my favorites. I love this. I know. Guess where this is going, guys? Y you know where it's going. But shh, we're not telling my husband. It's another piece being saved. Oh my. You know what? This has great feel to it. Uh, these have a heavier weight. They're not glass. They're certainly plastic, but they have a nice heavy weight to them. We have some seed beads with a little rock cross. It's so cute. Okay. It's a leather cord. It has a magnetic clasp. I don't know if this is commercially made or if this is artisan made, but this is all wire wrapped. And they took these shells and made these beautiful flowers. This thing is heavy, heavy, heavy. We have a cream colored glass bead necklace. And blue dyed shell. Look at all of these. Like I said, this would have been an awesome boho lot. I'm glad we have it. We have another long necklace with the bracelet gold tone. Okay, we're talking like five strands of these beautiful dyed shell. Look at all these. They have a great smooth texture, like almost like they've been tumbled. Uh, great spring colors. Look at these colors. I could so see this. So see it. We have another INC necklace with some leather ribbon. Is that the second one we have that one? I have to look through your pile. I may have to pull things out of yours too. Shh, we won't tell him. Multi-strand. We have glass beads galore on this, some seed beads, some beautiful what look like artisan beads. I mean, this is, this is a, oh, love this one. We have some black plastic beads with some little gold tints in between. Okay, more, more glass beads. Uh, some are, they almost look like tulips, uh, leaves, and it has these great heavy silver findings. I mean, this is, uh, look at this, guys. We have a silver tone horse running with some wooden beads on a cord. Another gold tone. This one's longer. Again, it, these these don't look used. I, I don't know if they came from a store and Goodwill ended up with them or what, but these are fabulous. We have some orange glass beads with some pinky tone crystal beads. Uh, twisted. It's got like little seed pearls and the gold tone. We have a Charming Charlie necklace, silver tone. I don't think we've had Charming Charlie in a long time. It's a nice little find to see. Okay, this is rose gold and toggle clasp. Again, with that really, really nice, heavy feel. We have a gold tone fashion necklace. Fashion heavier plastic beads, you know, that June clearer look of, you know, the 50s with the graduated look. I like that. We have some metal beads. That looks, just looks like, um, you know, a latchkey kid necklace on steroids. All right, this is a two-piece set. One is just a little longer than the other. Again, that great... Monet feel, you know, that nice heavy plating. It just feels like quality and great little two piece set. We have a necklace marked CH and it has black, and when you flip it over, it's red, gold tone. Okay, this silver tone longer necklace has a beautiful, nice crystal here. 
It has the beads throughout and then it is finished off with a little tassel. We have a gold tone necklace with some blue beads, gold tone knots, and some black and white stripes. Okay. This one is, I, if, at first really I thought it was a belt, um, but it's not. It does not have a clasp. It has a drop with like five different strands, uh, six, and it has this kind of, you know, that braided look to it. And it's, kind of, it's muted, you know, it's not in your face silver. We have this silver tone necklace marked LD. Okay, this, oh, if you know someone who likes to wear heavy, this is one of the heaviest chains I think we've ever found. It is not marked, certainly not marked silver. If it were, woo, cha-ching. Um, but here it is, look at this, heavy, 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 heavy. We have this dainty silver tone crystal necklace. Okay, then we had a few more, and these didn't really match anything, gold tone necklaces. Again, these all look nice and new and unworn. We have a silver tone fashion heart on a silver tone chain. Okay, and this one is marked. This is the only one out of the gold necklaces and it's marked American Showcase. We have American Eagle silver tone necklace. Okay, this is wooden beads and glass beads and these look like the swirled glass. In the last uh, couple of videos we had a few hearts that had that swirled glass look. If I can still find them, I think this would be fabulous to go with that. We have a long silver tone chain with a silver tone key at the end. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. This is a stretch bracelet, a lot of strands of black beads. Then the center looks like inlaid shell with an inlaid, uh, an inlaid shell in mother of pearl or you know, just, some, yeah, I think it almost looks mother of pearl. On the back, that, I think this is, I think that's acrylic. So that is kind of, you know, a really great look. We have a silver tone necklace marked NY. And this little guy was marked, let me see, this one here. It's marked P Lock, L O C K E. And it has beautiful rhinestones. And it is so heavy, the set. It is set in really sturdy setting, which also is stamped with like a floral motif. So, P Lock. We have a gold tone chain with a huge pendant that. It's bumpy, so it has like the texture look to it. This is not so stinking cute. Look at this. It's a Hershey's Kiss. How f how stinking cute is this? Look at this. I love this. We have a plastic bead necklace from the Limited. Orange, gold tone, crystals, foggy, everything. Okay. This is marked Monet, but you know what? <sighs> Older Monet has that feel, and it, it's a heavy, substantial, you know it's quality feel. This one has a, a much lighter weight, so I think this is certainly a newer piece of Monet. We have a long silver tone chain with a dragonfly, diamond, a little heart, and a little diamond circle drop. I think this is the daintiest version of a Stella and Dot piece. It has the two little glass pendants on a little gold tone jaw. 
and it's Stella and Dot. We have a Leah Sophia necklace, some shell in blue, silver tone. We don't have the necklace, but we have the pendant, and it's kind of hard to see. Let's see if I can't. Uh, I don't think I have anything dark up here with me. Oh, hold on, I do. I've got this one. It's Trafari, and it has this kind of this horse galloping. It's not a great representation of a horse, so I don't know if, how, if they're ever knocked off, but mm, that one's a little challenging. We have a long gold palm string with two crosses. Here is Premier Design. Just the chain. There isn't a pendant, so hmm. And a Beverly Hills London marked silver tone chain with two little hearts. This necklace is by Chaps. And it is kind of a nice heavy piece we have here. I mean it's it's pretty substantial. This is Mark Joan Rivers. It is very heavy in gold tone. This one has the Simply Vera uh, hang tag on it. And it has her signature, you know, multicolor glass beads. This one certainly has some crystal looking beads, some AB beads, some smoky beads. Uh, I tend to stay away from her designs because they're really, really, well, they're, they're, you know, they're massive. This one is certainly more subtle. I would, I would wear this. I would certainly wear this one. We have a Leah Sophia necklace that, to me, this reminds me of when you go, like, out to disco night. <laughs> it's cute. Okay, this is marked, and you know how we feel about infinity wires. But this one is marked J-N-Y, but it, this isn't quite the same. I mean, this one has um, more substantial wire, and these are, in fact, um, plastic beads. I mean, they're not even glass. So it's interesting. I don't know anything about this designer, so we'll have to look it up. All right, guys, we are down to the very end. We had one last pair of earrings that were tucked underneath. These are Ralph Lauren. A little scratched up, but you know, not too bad. We have a Avon ring, gold tone with a fake ruby in the <laughs> middle. Okay, this is marked Sterling. It is certainly a nice orange, maybe an agate, uh, with little tiny glass beads. This thing is a tangled, mangled mess. I, you know, I, we'll see. We'll see what happens with that one. This is Mark 925. It has pink shells and some little black beads. We ended up with, I don't even know if the camera's going to pick this up, a sterling, tiny, tiny little sterling necklace. One sterling earring. We have an Avon necklace with a little diamond drop. Okay, this is on the, you know, like the fishing wire. I believe these are real little tiny pearls, little seed pearls. It is a very tarnished sterling clasp. We have a small silver necklace with little silver beads. A little snowflake on a very dainty silver chain. Nothing, you know, nothing heavy. I have a silver bracelet with a silver dollar that is silver, <laughs> but it's missing a clasp. And the last thing in this group is a single sterling silver earring which I think would turn into a pendant. I don't know if this opal is real, but if it is, it's fantastic. And it looks like a little amethyst camachon. And it's older. So this one, worth looking into. All right, guys, this was our 22.2 pound box. 
had some hits, had some misses, overall not bad. Um, stay tuned, we've got box number three of this group coming up soon. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. Thanks for spending time with us. We'll see you soon.